Alright guys, today I'm going to do a quick update on my 125. I'm doing a water change and while I'm at it, I'll show you guys my nitrate filter again. Let me see if I can get in there. You can see in the bottom here there's a power head. Well, I like a little small filter. It's 50 gallons an hour in the back there. It pumps up into this little sweater box that I have filled with this denitrate filter media by CCAM. It lowers nitrates. It grows a specific bacteria to do that. I put the whole box in there. Well, probably about three quarters of it. It's overkill for this tank. And also, I put a pothos plant in the top. But first, let me see if I can get in here. That filter that's in the bottom, the 50 gallon an hour. I have it going into the sweater box. I put a little hole and I use this small tube. And I cover it with tin foil so algae don't grow from the lights. And if you look, you can see like a pop it open. Hold on one second. That'll be fun. See the overflow? I put that in the back there. It's only 50 gallons an hour. So it's uh Real slow, you don't have to worry about it overflowing, and I check it every once in a while to make sure it's not getting clogged. And then, let me see if I get this cardboard. I put the cardboard so the light don't shine on the media. You can see my pothos plant took off. I'd say it's about eight feet long, maybe a little longer. Really taken off probably sucking out all the nitrate and if you look I have these two lights on the top they're run by a timer they come on I don't even know the time probably about six hours during the day and then they turn off and then the whole back here is lit up from the aquarium and the lights come on on the top here and also up there I got another light, I don't know if you can see, I don't want to blind anybody, but I have one up there too to light it up. But, yeah, that keeps my nitrates, let me get out of here. Keeps my nitrates about 10 parts per million. I know there's not a lot of fish, there's 5 of them in this tank. But they're all big, the warus are probably, I'm going to guess and say, 8 inches each. 7, maybe 7, and then these guys are like 5. I feed them a lot, so I don't know, the tank to me looks clean. I got a little algae on the rocks here and on the uh, fake driftwood. The plants have a little algae on it, but every once in a while I'll take them out and bleach them. But yeah, if you guys want to set up something to lower your nitrates, check into this stuff here. This denitrate by C10. It works good you have to flow the water real slow I think they tell you 50 gallons or less per hour because that's what makes it grow uh, a certain bacteria because when you do 50 gallons an hour it doesn't let a lot of oxygen get into the media and that's what makes the specific bacteria grow so you got to keep that in mind you don't want to put it in like a canister filter like hundreds of gallons an hour because then it won't do anything really for the nitrates. Also, I'm still using this Micron filter. You guys always say the water looks crystal clear. That's because of this thing. It really cleans it up. I, for, I think I paid like $49 or something. It was the best filter I ever got. But what really makes the water look clear, I keep telling everybody. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. Maybe I will. I got a four foot fixture, a fluorescent fixture on the top here, but I'm not using fluorescent tubes. I'm using um, Waveform. They make LED four foot tubes. I think you can see it right here. Just barely the tubes in there. But that's what I'm using. And uh, the color rendering index is a higher than 95, meaning it's more accurate than any bulb you're probably going to get. 
So when it's accurate, the water looks clear because of that. And the fish's colors, instead of looking all red or greens or blues, they're all consistent like how they would look outside in the sun. So you see more color on the fish because of that. You don't just see one color overpowering the other. You see the colors more accurately and you can see tones and textures in the fish and I think that's what makes the water look clear. And that even goes for like the rocks in the bottom. You can see like, let me see if I can get close. Because these lights are so accurate, you'll see all the different colors in the rocks. You'll see like pinks, tans, like whites, all different colors in there. Whereas if you had like a bulb that gave off more of a red spectrum, these rocks would look pink looking and it wouldn't look good. That's why I like using these waveform LED lights. They're kind of uh, expensive. I think they were like $139 for four of them, which isn't too bad. It comes to like 30 something dollars each. But definitely worth it. It's like I don't know. I tried a lot of bulbs and they're the most accurate. I just like the way they look. But I just wanted to show you guys my pathos taken off. And all the uh, nitrate filter on the top lowers everything. I wanted to show it to you so if somebody wants to set something up, you could get an idea of how to do it. But well, that's it for this video. Oh, this guy wants to get in on the action. His tank's next. And this guy doesn't like when you do his tank. Piranhas don't like when the water gets low. Because in the wild, when the water's low, they get trapped and they could die. So kind of panics when it gets a little too low. But you got to do it. But anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it as always. And I'm out.